carry the AARP name. Like a PPO plan that lets you pay in-network costs anywhere you go within our Medicare National Network. Perfect for travelers. And a rebate plan offers a give back yearly on your Medicare Part B premium. Call today. With these HMO POS plans, you can get $1,250 for most. Offer a zero. Here. for Southern California. Egg sandwiches. Learn four why investigators say the wraps a high stakes must change. President Biden wraps a high stakes trip to Israel following that devastating hospital blast that has fueled protests across the Middle East. Will aid finally be allowed into Gaza and at what cost? And suing Snapchat, how parents who have lost children to fentanyl overdoses hope to hold the social media platform responsible. The NBC4 News at 3 starts now. Good afternoon, I'm Annabelle Sedano. We begin at 3 with that fatal car accident in Malibu. We are learning more details about the crash on PCH that took the lives of four Pepperdine University students. NBC4 Christian Casares is live from the sheriff's station in Agora Hills. Christian, what do we know about that driver? Well, Annabelle, I can tell you that the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department identified a 22-year-old Frazier Michael Boehm. He was arrested, he was booked, and he was released as this is an ongoing investigation. But I want to show you what the scene looked like. Now, this all happened around 8.30 uh, Tuesday night on the Pacific Coast Highway in an area of Malibu known as Dead Man's Curve. Deputies say Boehm was driving a dark four-door gray sedan and traveling westbound when he lost control. Now, his car colliding with three parked cars those cars hit four women standing nearby. Detectives tell us those four women died and Pepperdine University confirming they were students there at their campus. Now, Boehm was arrested for vehicular manslaughter with gross negligence. Today, the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department hoping to spark a conversation about the ongoing dangers of speeding on the PCH. It has to be a whole of community approach to this. PCH is deadly. We've lost way too many people on PCH. It's the it's a city. It's a highway that runs through a city and it's a college town. We've got to make a difference. Well, we know Boehm was booked and released, detectives say, as standard protocol. They tell us he lives in the area. Now, as for those four women that were killed, detectives tell us they will be identified by the Los Angeles County Coroner's Office very soon. But coming up at 5 o'clock, we'll tell you more about what the Sheriff's Department is planning on doing to address this issue on about speeding on the Pacific Coast Highway. That information coming up at 5 o'clock. Christian Casares, NBC4 News. All right, Christian, thank you very much for that update. Meantime, fellow students at Pepperdine University still in shock today. We talked to some of them who left flowers to show their support. It's really sad. I mean, you think about it because, like, you're in college too, and you think about, oh, in four years I get to graduate, I get to, like, continue my life, find a career, but those girls will never be able to do that. So it's really, really sad. Alex Rozier will be live from the Pepperdine campus. He spoke to some neighbors who described the sound of the crash. That's next at 4 o'clock. We're going to go outside. We're looking live from Malibu. It's a beautiful day out there. Meteorologist Shauna Mendiola has a sneak peek at that first alert forecast. Shauna. Hey there, Annabelle. It's beautiful, but hot. Boy, it feels like it's summer out there, but it, we're in October. <laughs> temperatures are well above average. We were at 100 degrees in Van Nuys. Temperatures have come down a degree here in the last hour or so, so we've already hit our daytime highs where triple-digit heat happened in the San Bernardino area in Riverside. We're cooler beaches, warmer inland, hot definitely for those areas near the foothills. Already 10 degrees warmer than this time yesterday. Today is just one of the days where we're going to see some of the hottest temperatures, so today and tomorrow.